All right, guys, we're going to learn real quick here how to measure the velocity of a roller coaster. Um, it sounds like it would be pretty complicated. We're actually going to make it quite simple for you. We're going to use V equals D over T, which is velocity equals distance over time. And all you need is a total distance traveled and a total amount of time it took to travel that distance to get the velocity of the roller coaster. This can be on any point of the ride. Uh, you can do this while you're at the park. You can do this with a video uh, that you took of the train while you're at the park. Uh, and so um, this is how it would work. I'm going to use this little video here to help us uh, figure this out. What you need to do is you need to be able to see the whole train pass through a single point on the roller coaster. And so how this is going to work is uh, I'm going to use this fixed point, which is this pole right in the middle of my view here. And I'm going to go ahead and measure the time it takes for the whole train to pass through that point. So if I was going to use my stopwatch, which hopefully you have a stopwatch on your phone or you uh, brought a timer with you to the park, um, we're going to start the stopwatch when the front of the train gets to this point, and we're going to stop it when the back of the train gets to that point. So if I would do this with my stopwatch, I would start my stopwatch right now, all right, as it's at the middle of that um, fixed point there, the, the front of the train is right there, and then I would uh, stop the stopwatch right there. And so the train traveled through that whole distance, and I was able to get my time. So the time itself is going to be how long it takes the entire train of cars to pass through that fixed point. I'll warn you, if you're going to do it at the bottom of a hill, that train's going to be going very quickly. Your times are going to be very small, so you're going to have to have real good reaction time to get a good to get a good uh, measurement of your time. Now the distance, here's what we're going to do with our distance. We're going to take the length of one car, multiply by the total number of cars to get the length of the whole train, because really, uh, when we were measuring, we were measuring how long it took for the entire train to pass through that point. So for the distance it traveled, we can really just use the length of the train. How are you going to get the length of one car? Well, we made a calibrated string. We're going to bring it with uh, to the park. Either you made one or we have one for you. And uh, quickly before you get on the ride, you're going to pull that out and you're going to estimate using that string how many meters long one cart would be, count how many cars there are, and then you multiply those numbers to get the total length of the train. Once you have your distance and your time, uh, you're able to very easily divide those and you'll get your velocity. Hope this makes sense and uh, something that we can use to quickly uh, measure the velocity of the coaster at any point of the ride.